Hello, welcome to Cooking with Oma. As you can see, today I'm not wearing a house dress. I'm dressed up. Actually, I do have some nice clothes. And uh, it's a special show, which my son will tell you all about. Normally, I'm behind the camera. And um, because I am much better behind the camera, Oma is the star in front of the camera. And I've done um, a couple episodes with her, which I have really loved. But um, like my mom said, this is a very uh, special episode. We have come to a very difficult decision. Um, but before we get to that, uh, next week is Oma's 90th birthday. And that's why we have this cake. That's why Oma has made her special birthday cake, which she has made on a previous episode. And you can see that there's also a five and a 35 on the cake and the five is for the number of years that we have been doing this show and it's exactly almost to this day that we made the first show which was the um we call it banana cake most people call it banana bread episode and the 35 is the number of episodes that we have done over the last five years we are both very sad to say that this will be um, our final episode I actually convinced my mom to do this show for an extra year. She wanted to stop a year ago, but I said, Mom, let's stick around. Let's do it till you're 90 years old. And um, it's just becoming more and more difficult for, for you to be on your feet. And um, But I did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> but I convinced you to do it for another year because of you fans and, and all the wonderful, amazing, unbelievable comments. Um, that a lot of you uh, would send in. So I knew that there would be a come a time when we'd have to disappoint you um, that, and this time has come because it's almost 90th birthday next week. So as I promised, we, um, we will be uh, mending the show. But anyways, before we get to the final, final goodbyes, we are gonna talk about some of our favorite episodes and uh, moments on the show. So why don't you start, Mom? What was, what was your favorite show that we did? My favorite show was when I made the apple squares. It's time to taste. And these are my two beautiful daughters. Thanks, Mom. I'm Irene. I'm yes. Isabel. And this is actually Isabel's and my favorite dessert since we were tiny little children. And I'm so happy to have you two here with me. And I know you will enjoy it. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Heaven. Yummy! It was very special because I had all three of my children here, which is, uh, meant a lot to me. I love them so much. And it was so very special to share the show with my two girls. My son is here. He's my boss. <laughs> so he's here all the time. But my girls, and I think they enjoyed it, and I loved it. And sometimes I can be a difficult boss, right? Yes, you, yeah, yes, sometimes. But I only, 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 in fairness, only because I know what you are capable of, and how, how good you are, and how talented, and, and I know, Thank you, you know, sir. so. Thank but you. sometimes I was probably a little hard on you, yes. but, so, anyway, but I apologize okay. for that, but <laughs> look at how amazing you were, and are, and all that. Always turned out to them. Always best. turned out. So one of my favorite episodes was the one that we called Touchin. Touchin. Touchin, I don't even know how to say it properly. And we don't even know if that's what it's called. Um, that's what it's called in Romania. In Romania. And Romania because it was what something that my dad used to make um, that we loved. It's like a, 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 a potato pancake in one right. piece. And that you right? put in the oven. So yeah. we actually made it together. Have a little look. Okay, so where do we start? We are, you are starting to grate the potatoes. That's how we start. So, and get going. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm here, am I not? To grate the potatoes, and why can't you grate yeah. the potatoes? I, I'm, I'm too scared to grate the potatoes that I might grate my fingers with it, so I let my son do that. So I'll grate my fingers instead. <laughs> Now we grate the onion. 
So basically, same kind of thing. Ooh. Mm. We used to put a piece of bread in our mouth. What? We used to put a piece of bread in our mouth, and that's helped uh, from uh, oh, crying. That's nasty. Oh, okay. Gee. It was a lot of fun because it was great to um, make something um, that my dad had made, and it brought back some some great memories. And it's like totally um, delicious, or as you would say, yummy. <laughs> okay, so let's go to what's what's another one? Let's do a couple more. The other one is uh, when I made this birthday cake, the same birthday cake. It was on my son's birthday, June 16, and uh, we did, uh, it was a special show because we had a little surprise. Have a look. Little, little, little dart of uh, that's my last thing I'm doing, and if that's not there, it's not the Oma's cake. Hello, happy birthday! Oh, look who is here! My daughter! She came to join the birthday party! Happy birthday, dear Sally! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! And we enjoyed the cake so much. It was special, wasn't it? It was special. It was great to have her here yeah. and to be on the show. Both of our favorites, our, our favorite show was actually uh, <laughs> hilarious because it was the bloopers. And we've had a lot of comments on the bloopers and we're going to just show you a little bit of that right now. Hello, welcome to Oma's Cooking. Oh no, <laughs> cooking. Okay, do it again. Okay. Little celery salt. It's up. Oh my god. Oh. No, what am I going to do? I opened the wrong end. Thank you. Until next time, thank you for watching Cooking with Oma. Nice and moist and yummy. And thank you for. Yummy. Nice and delicious. Moist. It. And the bloopers, there's a, I'm just going to have to make it quick. It was a little story to it. I was in Halifax and it was 10 o'clock at night or around that anyways. My son phoned and he says, Mom, you still up? I said, yeah. He says, you have to stay up for another 10, 15 minutes. I said, why? Because I'm doing the bloopers and it's going to be done at that time. So we waited, my daughter, Irene and me. And we watched the bloopers, and I tell you, we both laughed so much. I never laughed so much in my life. So it was one of my, I didn't know I'm doing those silly things. But it was proof that I did. The final sort of favorite of, of mine is um, when we did the Christmas baking. And believe it or not, Christmas is not that far away, only just over two months to go. So um, you should check this show out anyways if you want to do some, some great baking. Um, Oma makes my absolute favorite, favorite thing that she makes and that's uh, called Nussstrudel, which is like a nut roll, walnut ro nut roll, and it's, it's incredible. Here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to this Christmas edition of Cooking with Oma. Today, I'm going to make two pastries which are our family's favorites that I bake usually around this time. The first one is Nussstrudel, which is a walnut roll. The second is Moon Cookies. The reason I love it so much is because of what you're wearing. What you made me wear. <laughs> and what I tried to get you to say. Ho, ho, ho. But it didn't come out so good. It still doesn't come out very good, I have to tell you. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. She says it without either Hungarian or German accent. Ho, ho, ho. It's ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh, oh. Ho, ho, ho. My mom, Oma, is going to say a few things to all you wonderful fans. Um, but I would like to thank you personally for watching over the last five years. This started out as me wanting to record my mom's recipe so that we can pass it down from generation 
to generation, but it be quickly became so much more. Um, Mom, you have had such a profound and positive um, impact on so many of your um, Cooking with Oma fans. And it will be a beautiful legacy that you will leave um, behind. For the last five years, I was able to share you with thousands of people all over the world, and they got to see um, what I have known for my whole life. And that is what a beautiful and talented and amazing and caring role model um, you are and continue to be. And um, I hope that you will continue to watch and that you will share these episodes um, with your family and friends. And um, I'm certainly going to miss doing the show. And I don't know how many of you knew this uh, because it's something that we've never shared. And this kitchen is actually my kitchen. And for every episode, I would go over to my mom's house, the house that I was born in, and um, where you have lived for 63 years, and pick you up because you've, you don't drive, you've never driven, and uh, pick you up with your bags of all the ingredients and pots and pans and, and, yeah. and spices. And even though I had some of the stuff, you had to have your own, <laughs> some of it which was very, very old. And then we would do the show and then we would pack up and then I would take you home. Um, so the last thing that I would uh, like to say is that next spring I'll be creating a new show. It's not a cooking show, but I hope you will watch it anyway. Um, it will be entertaining, inspirational, educational, humorous and emotional. And uh, maybe I'll even get Oma you mom to be on my show so I'm gonna go behind the camera for a moment make sure everything's working okay and let you say what you would like to say and then I'll be back for the final final wrap-up first of all my dearest son I thank you for your beautiful beautiful words you said about me and I just feel that it was something that the good Lord blessed me with and then the beautiful comments that I had been I have been getting from all over the world, which my son read to me, and often I said to him, Son, this is so beautiful. And lots of times I had tears running down my face because it was just unbelievable. According to the comments that I have been getting, I can see that I made a difference in a lot of people's life, which means so much to me. You just will never know. And uh, I thank you again, and I uh, hope that you know I enjoyed every minute of it, and I would still do it. Uh, but uh, my age, I'm feeling okay, but it's, it's just time I have these little sore legs, whatever, and uh, I just have to stop. And I thought 90 years old is a good time to uh, say, how much I enjoyed these last five years. So don't worry about me, okay? I am blessed and I'm happy and uh, my faith will never leave me. So for now, I'm not saying goodbye. I'm just thanking you with my whole heart for commenting and for following me and I hope that you are going to enjoy these recipes. I just wanted to say these recipes are mostly European. I can cook different, but I wanted to do a little different stuff on there. It's time to make a wish. Can I help you, son? No. Go ahead. Okay. There you go. 
All right, the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way. All right. Old fashioned, like me. <laughs> okay, make a wish, Mom. Blow the candles? Then blow the candles out. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Thanks for Thank the. Thank you for everything, son. Thank you for the I five years and for all you. the great moments. Love yeah. you too. Yeah. And thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching Cooking with Oma. Wish you love and peace and happiness to everyone. Now, let's have a piece of this cake. Good. All right. And I hope it's going to be yummy.